The night was dark and ominous as I stumbled upon the ancient graveyard. The cold wind whispered through the skeletal branches of the gnarled trees, creating an eerie symphony that echoed through the desolate landscape. I pulled my coat tighter around me, my breath forming frosty clouds in the frigid air. The gate to the graveyard creaked open as if beckoning me forward, as I stepped through the wrought iron gate, an unsettling feeling settled in the pit of my stomach. The graveyard was unlike any I had ever seen before. The tombstones were weathered and tilted, as if burdened by the weight of the countless souls resting beneath them. The moon cast long shadows that danced eerily across the cracked ground. And the air was thick with a palpable sense of foreboding, I hesitated for a moment, contemplating whether to turn back, but an inexplicable force urged me to continue. As I walked deeper into the graveyard, the air grew colder, and an unsettling silence enveloped me. The only sound was the soft crunch of leaves beneath my boots, creating a haunting rhythm that echoed in the stillness, suddenly, a faint glow appeared in the distance. Intrigued, I followed the ethereal light, each step echoing in the empty expanse. The glow led me to an ancient mausoleum, its stone facade adorned with cryptic symbols that seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy. The door to the mausoleum swung open with an eerie creak revealing a pitch-black interior. Summoning my courage, I entered the mausoleum, and the door slammed shut behind me with a resounding thud. Panic set in as I fumbled in the darkness, desperately searching for a way out. Just as fear threatened to consume me, the walls of the mausoleum seemed to dissolve, revealing a swirling vortex of darkness, I was drawn into the abyss, tumbling through a tunnel of shadows that seemed to stretch into infinity. The air became thick and suffocating, and whispers echoed in the emptiness. As I emerged from the tunnel, I found myself in a desolate landscape that defied all logic. The ground beneath me was cracked and scorched, and a sickly red glow emanated from the horizon, in the distance. I saw the silhouette of a colossal gate. It loomed over the landscape like a malevolent monolith, and a sense of dread washed over me. As I approached the gate, it creaked open, revealing a nightmarish realm beyond. The air was thick with the stench of sulfur, and distant screams echoed through the infernal landscape, I stepped through the gate, and the world transformed before my eyes. I found myself in the heart of a nightmarish city, its twisted architecture defying the laws of physics. Skyscrapers of obsidian and bone pierced the blood-red sky, and the ground writhed with grotesque shapes that seemed to be alive, as I navigated the surreal cityscape, I felt the gaze of unseen entities watching my every move. Whispers echoed in my mind, taunting and tormenting me with indiscernible voices. I stumbled upon a desolate street, the flickering lampposts casting long shadows that seemed to dance with a life of their own, suddenly, a guttural growl echoed through the darkness, and I turned to see a grotesque figure emerging from the shadows. It was a demon, its twisted form adorned with leathery wings and horns that curled maliciously. Its eyes glowed with an otherworldly wickedness, and an evil grin revealed rows of razor-sharp teeth. The demon's approach was swift and unnaturally agile. Its leathery wings unfurled with a haunting sound, casting an ominous shadow over the desolate landscape. The air crackled with malevolence as the creature lunged at me, its claws extended like daggers. I managed to dodge its initial assault, but the ground beneath us quivered with each impact, the demon's eyes glowed with an unholy intensity as it unleashed a torrent of dark energy. Arcane tendrils lashed out from its outstretched hands, each strike sending shockwaves through the air. I summoned every ounce of my strength to evade the onslaught, narrowly avoiding the ethereal tendrils that threatened to ensnare me, in response. I conjured a protective barrier, a manifestation of sheer willpower that shimmered with an otherworldly glow. The demon roared in frustration, its monstrous form contorting with a mixture of rage and surprise. The clash of our opposing forces created an eerie symphony, the air vibrating with an unseen energy, as the battle raged on, the demon's attacks became more relentless. 
It summoned illusions that twisted the very fabric of reality, distorting the landscape and disorienting my senses. I fought to maintain my focus, relying on instincts honed by fear and desperation, the demon's wings beat with a deafening roar, creating gusts of wind that threatened to throw me off balance. I struggled to find openings in its defenses, my every move met with a demonic counter. It was a dance of shadows and desperation, a struggle for survival in a realm that defied all reason, in a moment of respite, I seized the opportunity to strike back. I channeled the unearthly energy of the accursed realm, my attacks manifesting as bolts of dark lightning. The demon writhed in pain as the bolt struck true, its monstrous form convulsing with each impact. Yet, the demon was relentless. It unleashed a barrage of hellfire, the flames dancing with an unnatural vitality. I dodged and weaved through the inferno, feeling the scorching heat singe the edges of my coat. The air itself seemed to burn with the demonic flames, and the stench of sulfur filled my nostrils, in a moment of desperation, the demon summoned illusions that mirrored my deepest fears. The graveyard twisted into a grotesque mockery of reality, and the voices of the damned echoed in my mind. Shadows danced in the periphery, taunting and tormenting me with distorted whispers, as I grappled with the illusions, the demon seized the opportunity to launch a final, devastating assault. It materialized a blade forged from the darkness itself, its edges dripping with an otherworldly ichor. The demon lunged with a ferocity that bordered on madness, the blade aimed at my very soul, in a last-ditch effort, I called upon the strength within me. The ground beneath us quaked as I unleashed a surge of energy, a radiant burst that clashed with the demonic blade. The clash resonated through the accursed realm, a cacophony of dark and divine forces colliding in a moment of cataclysmic intensity, the demon's form contorted, writhing in agony as the celestial energy consumed it. The once menacing creature now appeared fragile, its monstrous exterior unraveling like a tattered cloak. The air was charged with an otherworldly tension, and with a final, guttural scream, the demon dissipated into shadows, leaving only a lingering echo of its tormented existence, as the echoes of the battle faded, I stood alone in the nightmarish landscape, breathing heavily. The mausoleum and the gate to the infernal realm loomed before me, silent witnesses to the harrowing confrontation. The scars of the battle etched themselves into my consciousness, a testament to the thin veil that separates the mortal realm from the horrors that lie beyond.